Leo's insights are presented to challenge, inform, and encourage you in your quest to break free from school-based approaches to education. Building upon a foundation of unschooling, we sincerely hope these insights help you to consider how education can be truly unlimited. Edmund Burke has often been credited for saying, all that needs happen for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. There's a lot of truth to this statement. Even though freedom is God-given and inalienable, that is, without change, there are a lot of opposing forces at work designed to rob us of these freedoms. To start, it is important to understand that most people in a democratic society are tricked into surrendering their freedoms in exchange for rights. We have already discussed that while God's freedom is unchanging, it can be taken away or given away in exchange for rights. What most people do not understand is that this is a matter of who is in authority. While we are in possession of our freedom, we stand in the authority given to us by God. When we acquiesce to others who are claiming this authority, we deny our autonomy and embrace the claims of others as legitimate. In my world, there are a number of individuals and agencies that claim authority in education that I do not acknowledge as legitimate, yet I do need to seriously consider. The government making claims to having better knowledge and understanding of what children need to learn comes immediately to mind. Just how much authority is exercised is directly proportional to how much parents are willing to give them. This is where freedom is challenged and unless parents stand up and defend their own authority and freedom, the issue devolves into bondage. This was clearly shown in November of this year when the gubernatorial elections was conducted in Virginia, USA. The incumbent was adamant about government and teachers knowing better than parents regarding what their children should learn, going so far as saying that parents need not know what was being taught to the children in schools. <laughs> Although this may be an American example, this also applies to schools here in Canada. Do parents know what is happening in schools? Are they aware of what their children are, are being taught? No doubt the COVID related online learning boom did show many parents what was going on behind the school doors. But other than a few easily dismissed complaints, are parents banding together to demand a say in what is being taught? Not really. On another front or another example, I have to deal with a particular bureaucrat who has a history of taking her authority to new levels. This lady's job description seems to grow with time and has come to include four ways into jurisdictions that are completely out of her purview or job description. She got there through incremental creep, which was not questioned, but rather validated through schools acquiescing to her every demand. Whether it is a rogue bureaucrat or renegade teachers or school system, the only thing needed for the continuing breach of boundaries is for parents and or people to simply do nothing. Say okay and bend to the demands that are being made. This is the perfect formula for the loss of freedom. And it is unfortunately taking place all too often. Freedom is worth fighting for. It does not need to involve guns as in military wars, but it does require vigilance and people to push back when they see freedoms being challenged. Oh, by the way, that governor who made those absurd claims about parents not having the right to know what their children were learning in school 
was soundly defeated by a man who defended parental rights. Maybe it's time for Canadians to start doing the same. We trust you were blessed by today's presentation. For more helpful information to guide you in your home education journey, please visit educationunlimited.ca and leogomal.com. Be sure to like us and share us on Facebook.